Still, the area must be obviously the Comune di Montalcino uh, and the grapes only Sangiovese. No other grapes are allowed. Uh, now we have also an aging requirement. The aging requirement by, given by the, the regulation is two years in oak. Just oak can be any size, small barrique, large barrel, huge barrel, oak from France, from Slovenia, from uh, US, from anywhere. So just oak. And then we have uh, four months minimum of barrel aging. After this, um, you, I mean, it's up to the winery where to age, continue aging the wine that could be either in tank, in wood, or in bottle, because the Brunello has to be sold minimum five years after the harvest year. So actually it would be, technically it's four years and four months, but it's considered, it's considered five years. So the remaining time is up to the, to the winery. Once again, we do a little stricter. Uh, we use very old vineyards. Uh, old vineyards have the advantage to have a lower yield, naturally lower yield, uh, even though it's further reduced with a strong uh, green harvest. Uh, we use vineyards that are 25 up to 44 year old. Uh, also, vinification is done as the previous wines, submerged cap technique, 15 days, and then the aging is for three years, so one more year than the minimum required, and we only do that in large uh, barrels. Yeah, O4 was such a great, uh, great vineyard, great vintage in Montalcino. Uh, there was uh, actually there was the ideal climate for uh, for harvest, very similar to 2006, actually, which would be another collectible vintage. Uh, very cool, very cool spring. Um, actually cooler than the usual. We got a little bit of delayed um, flowering of the, of the vines. Uh, and actually, at the end of, uh, of April, there was a, kind, of, kind of a big, uh, of a bad hail storm uh, in Montalcino. So if the flowering was uh, a bit more anticipated, it would have destroyed a, bit of, uh, a big part of the, of the, of the yield. Uh, the summer was nice, uh, was also a, a cool, uh, I mean a, a warm summer, but we never went over 37, 38 degrees Celsius, so we're just, uh, we're just good, not, not too hot. So the color is still very intense, ruby red, nice, nice and intense to be a pure Sangiovese wine. And now, from the ripened red fruit, we have more dried fruit. And the spices are definitely more clear. And also a little bit sweeter. We got some vanilla, too. Nice acidity, good tannins, great fruit in the mouth, young, young wine. And you can tell, it's easy to tell, it's like, you, you can tell the, the complexity of this wine, uh, but at the same time, the youthfulness of this wine, it's, uh, it's a wine that will need a long time in the bottle before being enjoyed at its best. And you see how long is the persistence in the mouth, like you can, Taste it for minutes almost.